Welcome to the State of Wyoming Subject Matter Minute, where we cover a wide variety of subjects related to State of Wyoming employment. This information is for you and me, the state employee. From hidden benefits to systems and processes, we'll make your job easier by giving you the lowdown, the how-to, and hopefully entertain you a bit along the way. And now, today's Subject Matter Minute. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Subject Matter Minute. I'm Matt Nagy. Thanks for joining me. So I started creating, putting together this episode last week when the weather was perfect, right? I hope everyone else was enjoying the most fabulous fall we've had in a long time. It may be coming to an end now, right? But I can't believe I, I had to work last week. I had the hardest time sitting here at my computer when the weather was like that outside. In fact, I think the state should have a perfect weather holiday or admin days. Maybe that's a good retention strategy the state should consider. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of nature, I want to show you guys a little video of my wife's office in Steamboat. Okay, the quality is a little bit poor, but you'll get the idea. <laughs> The whole family. I guess somebody needed an appointment to get their teeth cleaned or something. You know, it'd be cute, except for I also last week read that article about the wrestlers who were attacked by a bear up near Cody. If you haven't read it, search for it. It is quite a story. Okay, now that I told you to go outside and enjoy the amazing weather, and then told you to stay inside because of, well, bears, let's get to the content. As you should know, we are halfway through open enrollment for 2023. Okay? And while a month ago might have been better, I admit, I think it's still a good time to talk about some open enrollment changes. So open enrollment starts on October 1st and goes through the end of November. Now, this is the time where you can add, drop, or make changes to the benefits that we get through employees' group insurance. <laughs> Speaking of EGI, I almost forgot to thank this month's subject matter expert, Karen Williams of Employees Group Insurance. Thank you so much for everything you do. Okay, now the changes that you make take effect the following year. So the changes we make now are put into place for the 2023 calendar year. While you can go in and view your benefits in the portal, nothing needs to be done if you aren't making any changes. However, you need to remember that the flex medical and daycare have to be enrolled in each year if you wanna participate in them. It seems like for me, the only thing that I change occasionally is the flexible spending account amount. And I guess last year I did drop the short-term disability as I figured I'd accrued enough sick leave for the short-term, right? Otherwise, you can go in and change your health insurance deductible, okay? You can elect or drop preventive dental or the optional dental. You can elect or drop basic and voluntary life insurance. You can elect, drop, or change your vision plan. You can elect or drop ambulance coverage. You can elect or drop short-term disability or long-term disability. You can elect your flexible spending accounts for 2023, like I mentioned. And finally, you can add, drop, or change dependents where appropriate. Now, there are some small changes that will go into effect in 2023. If you recall, Vision Insurance had a waiting and commitment period of two years. This meant that if you didn't elect it when you were first hired, or if you dropped it, you had to wait two years to get it. It also meant that you, once you had it, you needed to keep it for two years. Okay, well, that period's been reduced to one year. The benefit for optional dental has been increased from $1,500 to $2,000, all right? So if you have optional dental, Delta Dental will pay up to $2,000 per calendar year for things such as crowns. This is a crucial one for me because my teeth are all sorts of cracked up. Also, the maximum you can use for the medical reimbursement went up from $2,700 to $2,850. So if you're always maxing that account out, you can bump up your monthly amount a bit. Please keep in mind that I by no means have gone through all the details. Sometimes more documents are needed. Sometimes you need one thing to get another. There are other waiting periods. 
okay? But these are details that I've gone through in other subject matter minutes, all right? I've put links to the appropriate ones down below. Take a look. I've also included a link to a video that takes you through the entire portal open enrollment process below, all right? Of course, if you have real questions, important questions, please contact EGI. Finally, please don't wait to the last minute to get this done. EGI's hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and while we can submit an online enrollment form until November 30th at midnight, <laughs> if you experience any errors or technical problems, there's no way to get assistance after hours, all right? They've given us like two months to get this done, so get in there and make it happen. All right, that's it for today, but before I go, I want to give a shout out to Travis McGinnis of Big Piney. It was great chatting with you last Saturday at the Wyoming football game. It's great meeting cool state employees like you. All right, everyone, go outside before winter hits. Go on a ride, go on a hike, sit on the porch. That is unless there's been a bear sighting nearby. You have been watching the Subject Matter Minute with Matt Nagy. Please help us out by subscribing. And join us next month when we'll cover another topic of interest for all State of Wyoming employees. Again, thank you for joining us on the Subject Matter Minute.